All right, guys, welcome back. In this story, we're going to talk about how we can integrate Hubot with Slack and Grafana. So this is a very valid case uh, for a data engineer where you want to monitor. Sometimes you're not going to be able to be in front of this desktop or screen, but you do have Slack installed. So this will enable us to see snapshot of existing dashboard using Hubot and Slack. What is Hubot? Well, Hubot is an open source chatbot that it's easy to program using simple scripts written in coffee scripts and it runs on Node.js. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Before we do that, make sure you close on this repo you have all the scripts here um also if you have any doubts and you want to get more info about it join our discord channel you'll find the links here and we will be able to answer your questions let's jump into it first thing you want to do depending on your environment you want to go and install node.js uh, here if you're on linux i've already prepared the commands for you but if you're on mac like me you want to go and download mac installer so i've already done that so i already have installed node.js you also want to make sure you have grafana if you don't have grafana installed i'll put a link in the description that we're going to show how to install grafana so you install node.js next what you want to do we're going to install the yogen and the generator hubbot packages Open a command line. After you complete installing those plugins, let's create a new folder in our project. I'm going to call my folder bbot and I'm going to navigate inside it. Here, what we're going to do, we're going to wake up our bot. Basically, we're going to generate our bot. So the command will be yo ubot. Here, you will have to provide him with some information such as the owner, who's the owner, and the bot name is going to be bbot, and some description if you want in the bot adapter. In our case, it's going to be Slack. Before we start our bot, let's add some extra packages. In the, in the same folder where you have your bbot set up, so if we do a ls, we can see that something was created here. Let's install the hubot grafana and hubot alias plugin. After we do this, Let's edit the external script folder and let's add the two new plugins that we've just installed. Exit, save. Next, what we're gonna do, we are going to, next we're gonna create our Slack app. So open a web page and navigate, navigate to the Slack apps. Here we're gonna look for Hubot. Click on the Hubot link and say add to Slack. Notice that I'm already logging into my workspace. Let's give this uh, let's give this bot a name so it's gonna be the same bbot. And here you wanna copy this API token or you wanna copy this value. Click save integration now. So our Hubot is being created and make sure you don't share this token with nobody. This is just for this tutorial. Uh, this bot will disappear right after this tutorial completes. So next, we're going to go to our Grafana and create our API key. Go into your configuration, API keys, new API key, and let's give it a name, same, bbot. And we can even leave this as a viewer for now. Add, and then you want to copy the key. Copy, again, save it into a save location, and then close. Going back to our dashboard, we can see we have two panels here created. We have two dashboards with two panels. Open back the command line and we're going to export the variables. So if you, if we see here, we are exporting the Hubo Slack token, the Grafana host. In my case, uh, my installation runs on local host on port 3000, the Grafana API key and the log level set to debug. Press enter. You can also have this values not exposed like this, you can have them in a script that will run every time your bot will initialize, such as a dump file. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to start our bot. So the command would be pin hubot adapter slack, and press enter. Great, so now our hubot uh, is ready to accept commands. Let's open the slack. Let's open slack now. Here we can see we have a new app added. So let's go here and click on a hubot and let's start a conversation. A B bot and let's type help. There you go. So this validates that our, that our bot it's up and running. If for whatever reason your bot is not green, let's say for example, let's kill it here. 
and look at the status so basically he shut down his slack is no longer available so let's restart back the bot and now let's see how this actually works with Grafana. so the command will be uh, the bot name graph list this will list us all available graphs and you also you can see here in the back end he goes through a lot of logging here if something went would have been uh, out of normal we would have get an error message so we are um, display with this option so we get two dashboards and we're going to have to use the dashboard id if we're going to go to grafana and we go to this particular dashboard we can see that the id of the dashboard is present here it's this 67k and going back to slack 67k how do we get a snapshot of this particular panel so again we're going to have to ask the bbot to do a graph db in the dashboard id And there you go he returns us the current status at that point in time now if you were to do a mistake and say okay uh just give me back dashboard name he will correct you he will say hey try occur against with this particular instead of demo so that's really helpful to guide you through the stuff another thing we can do we can create aliases so if we're going to type help He's going to give you a list of all available bbot commands so we can create an alias here you can see we also have the graph options here everything that we start installed in that grafana plugin it's available here uh, the help command we can even say ping and he will do pong back all these commands here or ship it bbot time if we just say time he will reply with the current time and my zone where I am. Now let's see how we can create an alias using the dashboard name. Right, so if you want to create a demo based on a particular crate similar to Linux aliases. So what do you want to do? You want to call the bbot uh, and say alias. Let's give this a name. So let's just keep it simple. Demo equals with what? So this you're going to provide him with another bbot query. So it's going to be uh, graph db and you remember we had that graph id type enter and he's going to reply with a status hey i made an alias for demo for this particular query so now if you type demo he will reply you back with that particular dashboard that we asked him for all right so this is a wrap on how we can set up uh hubot to integrate slack and grafana this is very important you can go and create multiple commands you can check on services with this particular thing you can make your life easier. I would say when you have a massive team and people don't have the knowledge and the patience to go through all this technology stack or through Grafana or they want to query a database to see what's my latest status on a particular service. This is very handy because everybody uses Slack nowadays and everybody is very custom with that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next.